And uh, to our conversation of the day, or at least something that points us to the same, it's time for women to take charge of their lives and be more intentional about what they want. According to Scanem Interlabel's Head of Planning, Customer Service and Procurement, Juliet Karanja, who is a woman in manufacturing, passion is what drives one to achieve their goals. She spoke to our roving reporter, Brian Mushiri, on life as a woman in manufacturing in this edition of your voice this morning on your world it's all about women and on your voice I'm here at Scanem Interlabels to speak to Juliet Karanja she's the head of planning customer service and procurement here at Scanem Interlabels in fact here she is hey. I think we can walk in okay sure thing Hi, morning. Good morning. How are you? Very well. How are you? How are you doing? Thank you. We are called label converters. So what we do is that we do product labels. We print the labels that you see on your normal products, personal care, home care, um, food items. So we do the printing of those particular labels. Printing falls under very many categories, but what we do specifically at Scanem is we use flexo uh, presses. Flexo presses basically use what we call plates, which are made of um, some sort of rubber. So these plates are loaded onto cylinders, and these are the ones that, used to, uh, that are used to make the imprints on the different types of paper. And just to give you an insight, there are very many different types of papers. If you think about the different products in the markets, um, lubricants, your personal care, home care, all those labels may look the same, but in actual sense how they are constructed, the word we use is constructed, how these papers are constructed are all different. Even what you see on your yogurt labels that, that looks like a cup, it's actually a label that is printed and we actually do that here. We call it an in-mold label. We print up to 10 colors. So there's full colour. The fortunate thing about uh, working for a company such as Canem is that there is inclusivity. So that made it easier into the journey into manufacturing. When you have an employer who thinks about inclusivity uh, regardless of um, your gender, it's all about what you know, so it makes it easier. Yes, I have interacted with uh, males, uh, in the industry, but yes, there's always that shock of you're in manufacturing. How are you in manufacturing? Uh, but then again, as I said, the thing that gives you an edge is if you know what you're doing. So automatically, if you do, there, there comes about some sort of respect because you're not just second guessing yourself. Women in Manufacturing is a caucus under Kenya Association of Manufacturers, and it was a program that was introduced by KAM Manufacturing to be specific. So, what they do is that they provide uh, a networking as well as learning experiences for women. Uh, they target SMEs to be specific, but even as an individual. And from here we get to interact with a lot of um, talented ladies. You're able to pick a lot of learnings and also quite encouraging when you get to see women ahead of you of something probably you are, too, you are a bit skeptical about. All right. I am a mother of a five-year-old who's called Jabari. Work-life balance is very important to me. So by the time uh, I'm looking at how my career path is going to grow, I looked at how possible is it to always have work-life balance. The importance of having an employer who supports both um, gender-based roles as well as work-life balance. So with that, I'm able to carry out my responsibilities at Scanem, um, with which are KPI targeted, and still have time to actually go home, be a mother, and enjoy exactly what I do. My biggest advice would be go for what you have passion in. Go for what you enjoy doing. Because if you enjoy doing something, even when a hurdle comes your way, you'll be able to tackle it because you enjoy it. The difference with going with something that you enjoy doing and something maybe you're just doing for the sake of doing is that you're able to come up with ways of tackling a challenge because you want to get back to the good side of what you're actually doing. So I would advise young women, if you are into manufacturing or any other STEM-related STEM um, industry, science, technology, 
engineering, mathematics, go for it. Go for it. There's nothing stopping you. Um, in most cases, I think my biggest and the mantra that I believe in the most is that if a table has not been created for you, please take a moment, create your own table, create your own space, get in there, try what you want to try and never give up. Always have mentors and coaches. That is something that has helped me myself. Somebody who you can always walk up to and say, hey, I don't understand this part. Please guide me or please show me or please walk me through it. My name is Juliet Karanja. I am a woman in manufacturing and a happy Women's Day to all and everyone.